The Allman Brothers Band on WNCW. That's a song that just always puts a smile on our faces. We love playing you those classics here at WNCW and the best in new music. And we've got a gentleman here in Studio B with some new music coming out soon and a new book as well. I'm Martin Anderson in Studio B, where live Studio B sessions are brought to you by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. We welcome back here Seth Walker. Good morning. Good morning. All right. How you doing, Martin? Great, uh, great to see you. Feeling better now that you're here. All right. And uh, so glad to hear about all the stuff going on here. Uh, let's hear a song and then we'll talk. Okay. Let's... Here I sit in this hotel bar, you boys playing low. Whiskey in my glass, where is all I know? Mm -hmm. Another night, another flight, another dawn and day. All oh, this ever close to me is a thousand miles away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. home again I've been so long since I've been home again it's been so long now mm -hmm. home again mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just know there's something more some more than this oh lord take me back to the place that I have missed Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take me home again I've been so long since I've been home again It's been so long now mm -hmm. Home again, home again, home again Na 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 if you think you lost your way, you're not the only one. Listen, friend, hear what I say, the men was come undone. Ooh. Take me home again. Been so long since I've been home again. It's been so long now. Mm -hmm. Seth Walker on WNCW, uh, warming up here. Warming up. It's warming up the studio. It's been a while since we've had some live music in here. Just got mm -hmm. a, a couple here and there, some great local artists. And you know what? What a what a treat it is to say that you're a local artist now. You've been spending yeah. some time in Asheville. I mean, you're a you're a Western North Carolina native, really. Well, I was well, born of. in Burlington. Okay. Born in Burlington, raised up outside of Elon College. In a yeah. little town called Altamaha, Ossipee. Uh, but yeah, I'm a North Carolina boy. You got a yeah. Yeah, good, good history with uh, your family uh, doing yep. uh, music camp and stuff and yep. getting into music here in the, the mountains. And, yeah, and, er you know. and everybody's here. My dad recently moved back yeah. here, and my mom's here, and my sister. Yeah. So uh, I, just, I just relocated here, I guess, in the middle of October. Uh-huh. So I a soft place to land. Man. Yeah, yeah, good, yeah, good. 
Is it hard uh, moving during a pandemic? That's a whole new thing. No, nah, man. If I can't put it in my van, I don't own it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be my rule. Yeah. I went back to it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it you know, it was, it was, yeah, it's, it's been a, a kooky year. Um, and, and, you know, moving, you know, I can't say it was, uh, it was definitely, it was bizarre, but, uh, I'm happy to be here. Right on. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, speaking of your van, you have just released a book as <laughs> of today, as a matter of fact, called Your Van is on Fire. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> Bye, uh, indeed. Congra- congratulations. Thanks. Thanks, man. First time as a, uh, a novelist, an author? Yeah. Yeah. First, first, first time. I, I, I had, I mean, I had dabbled with. I mean, obviously, I've been writing songs for a long time, so I've, you know, I've written, you know, but, and I would do like little words, I called them words from the road, little, you know, journals, things that I would sometimes put with a newsletter through the years. Yeah. But I never, it was, it was more just little things, anecdotal little things. And, and I found myself (laughs) in March when everything grinded to a halt, you know, just staring out my window. And, and I just, I just started writing and writing and writing. And next thing I knew I was just, I was obsessed with it. And I wrote for about six months straight. Yeah. Wow. Right. Yeah. Uh, I read that you did collect a bunch of these old, uh, notes that you jotted down and they yeah. incorporate their, their way into it. But yeah. also you spent the pandemic putting them all together, adding a bunch of new ones. So, yeah. so the book, your van is on fire. It's a mm-hmm. combination of notes from the road of what it's like being a musician in general and then also just stories about your life in general your upbringing so yeah part mm-hmm. autobiography and part memoirs of a touring musician yeah it's kind of a smorgasbord of stuff it's you know there's poetry in there there's kind of meditation kind of stuff there's just i mean just <laughs> crazy tales of gigs <laughs> gone wrong and right <laughs> and and of course uh tales of bands uh, a blaze. Yes, yes. Yeah. I don't. We don't want to maybe give too much away, or maybe mm-hmm. you want to. Maybe that's the story you want to tell. But with a name like that, your van is on fire. Well, it, cer- <laughs> it certainly gets your attention. Well, that that was that was ironically enough that was my a story about my very first performance I ever did at East Carolina University, <laughs> where I went to school back in in when was that 1990, hmm. and uh, yeah, I had just started playing guitar and. Yeah, it was a little house concert thing at my then girlfriend's house, and and things, uh, yeah, escalated from there. Yeah, Uh-oh. you'll have to read about it. <laughs> oh, we'll have yeah. to read about it. <laughs> well, I tell you, we we have a long tradition here at WNCW of of using this Studio B to to host artists like yourself, big bands, little bands, solo acts, all sorts of styles, and you know, it's usually talking about the new album, the new this or the new that, or uh, what are your shows uh, like these days because you're on your way to a show. But invariably, a, a lot of the time on a very regular basis, we love asking musicians about, you know, what is life like on the road? It might be, what kind of rig are you all traveling in, especially mm-hmm. with those big bands? And we yeah. hear about like six or eight guys piled together in a vehicle. Well, what's that like? Well, how much time you got? Yeah, and, uh, really. <laughs> and, and all sorts of stories. Now we have a, a book that we can draw from for you. Yeah, That's yeah. Great. I mean, it was, it, was, it, was, it was cathartic, really, just reliving so much of, I mean, I guess I've been doing this for, my first album came out in 1997. Uh, so I don't know, do the math, hmm. but... Um, just reliving it so, somehow I can, you know, like, especially my days when well, my upbringing stuff was fun to relive, but my Austin, Texas days, uh, I lived there for 15 years. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the book stems from my early gigs, you know, and just how, the, what kind of development that was for me. And, um, and then it's, you know, and then it spills out into life in the, on the road and, and, and how to, you know, how to swing with that? Because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it can be a slippery, treacherous thing out there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it was, uh, like I said, it was cathartic to write it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's the book is referred to as uh, being largely about 
uh, making music in, quote, the Southern Love Triangle of Austin, <laughs> Nashville, and New Orleans. Uh-huh. And uh, you've lived in all those three cities. And, yeah. And now now it's a square or a rectangle. Now you got Asheville. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. I mean, all, all of those cities, you know, as I was writing the book, I was just realizing how much a mark they've left on me musically and personally, too. But, you know, uh, but it, it, was, it was cool. I was driving over today, and you guys were playing... Um, uh, Doc Watson, hmm. some Doc Watson stuff. And that's actually the first concert I ever saw. My father took me to see Doc Watson when I was five years old. So it's kind of kind of a full circle coming back up in the mountains and, and hearing Doc on the radio coming here. It was cool. Good choice, Mr. Walker. Scott, yeah. uh, Scott if you're <laughs> yeah. ready to go, yeah, taking man. him to see Doc. Oh, God, the king. <laughs> 